Thank you so much for joining us today. So we just want to know a little bit about the problem that you were having um, for in your life and how God Almighty brought you about uh, to your testimony. So go ahead and take it away. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. So my problem started when I was 11 years old. Um, when I was 11 and um, I started my menstrual cycle, I developed endometriosis. And I developed a very, very serious, severe case of endometriosis. So as the years went on, um, by the time I was in high school, um, each month when I would start to have, you know, we have cramps, ladies, well, (laughs) when I would start to have cramps, I would literally have to get a bag ready to go to the hospital because I would have to go every single month. My pain was so severe that I could not walk, I couldn't think, I couldn't have a conversation, I couldn't even speak. I was just in so much pain. Um, And then I started to develop chronic pain. So now it wasn't just a couple of days each month. It was every day I was in pain. Every day it was hard for me to get through the day. I was always tired, I was always in pain, and I always had um, more and more tissue growing inside of my body. So I had two surgeries, um, two years apart, to have the tissue removed that was growing inside. And um, by the time I was 17, the doctor sat me down and told me, look, you either need to try to have a baby now before it's too late, or we have to surgically remove everything. And you know, I'm 17, and, you know, I had barely had this super committed relationship since I was 15, you know, and so, I mean, I was, like, I was, I feel like that was the moment where, you know, that was my first test of faith. One, one, for one thing, I always knew I wanted to be a mom, okay, and I was, like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep everything inside, (laughs) and we'll just, you know, we'll see how it goes, and, and I, I was telling one of the ladies that works with him, because um, she, she, every time I'd come in, she'd be like, are you pregnant yet? Are you pregnant yet? And I was like, no, like, I, I need to find a man first. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I got to get married and everything. And she's like, oh, don't worry about marriage. Just find a guy you think is handsome, that you think will give you cute babies, and, and it will be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it may sound funny now, but I was mortified, you know, so um, anyway, so um, around that time, um, we had been introduced to the Ministry of SCO and the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, and um, for five years, I was trying to go to SCO, like, I would save money for the trips because we would like take people from the United States over there. And every time I would save enough money, something would happen where I'd get really sick and, or some, and I would have to spend all my money on other stuff, you know? And so I just felt like, gosh, like why does this keep getting delayed, God? Like I'm in pain, like please get this away from me. I don't wanna live like this anymore. And in those five years, I would have dreams of TB Joshua and it was always the same dream of him going, like this, you know, it was, I mean, I know this sounds weird, but I'm not joking. He was like, it's like, almost like he was saying, come here. So I felt like, okay, so I know I'm going to go there one day. And the funny thing is, so when the time finally came, I actually went with Brittany and we took a group over there and it was, um, not this last September, but the September before. And I went and I was like, so desperate. I was like, God, if you don't set me free. And and let me tell you, I wasn't even thinking about my healing. I just wanted my family to be set free. I was going there with God. I just want you to set my family free. I'm not leaving that place until I know for sure, you know, I'm going to receive prayer for my family. And when I got there, I actually received prayer for healing. And Prophet TB Joshua told me exactly what, I didn't even tell him. He was like, your sickness is right here. You know, he said, you have this stuff that grows in you, and you have a kidney problem. I also had chronic kidney disease, and um, I suffered from that for a few years as well. And so, you know, he was telling me these things, and, and by that time, I had found out that, that I was developing cancerous cells. So it was very hard for me. And I, I got to the point where I was like, man, maybe, maybe I'm not, you know, going to have kids and stuff. And so... 
I got prayed for. And when I came back, I started to have the tissue physically come out of my body. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, so yeah, that started to happen and my pain was gone. And then, but I just want you guys to know that I did, I was prepared. I knew, you know, that the enemy would try to, you know, lie to me. And a month, about a month later, I started to have that pain again. And I was like, no, I have suffered with this for 10 years. Enough is enough. I know that when I got prayed for, I was set free and it's completely done. And I'm not going to walk around with a victim mindset. I know I am set free. And I prayed over myself. And ever since, I mean, it's been over a year and a half now. And I have not had any more pain at all. Amen. Let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus Christ. So before Alexandra, before you continue with the rest of your story, I want to point out that what the doctors had told her completely goes against the way of God. But as a child of God, she chose to follow in God's footsteps in the way that God Almighty has aligned. Just because her doctor was telling her, go and have a baby, that's going to take care of your problem. She said, no, I am a child of God. I'm going to do this God's way. And God Almighty completely heals her body in his own way, in his own time. I want you to go ahead and continue, Alexandra, with the rest of your testimony. Yeah, so the, you know, I had different opinions and they all told me, you know, this is incurable. You're going to have this forever, you know, unless you get everything removed. So please, you know, have a baby and whatnot. And so anyway, like she said, you know, I ignored that. And I stood in faith after I received uh, prayer and I, I came back from Scoen. Um, that's when my husband and I got engaged. And five months later, we got married. And um, I went to the doctor again, and she said, oh, you know, maybe you can start in a year or something. Maybe you'll, you know, get pregnant in a year or something. And I got pregnant, like, three months later. So, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I, ha I want you guys to know that I literally fought till the end, <laughs> till the last day. I was in labor with my daughter for three days in so much pain, and... I um, I had her with a C-section, and, and my husband asked the doctor if they saw any signs of the endometriosis, and they said no, that they didn't see anything. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus. <laughs> CJ, can you come forward, please? So... Right now, uh, CJ, which is Alexandra's husband, is coming forward now with this perfect miracle child. Amen. So right here is living proof of what God Almighty can do if you simply trust in Him and follow His ways. What the doctor said was going to be impossible for her was made possible through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the miracle working power of Jesus Christ. And today, Alexandra and CJ are standing here before us with their beautiful child, Zara, and it's all for the glory of God. Amen.